Hello, hello, friends. It's me. It's Grace. It is 9 p.m. on Tuesday. I can't even believe it. It's the 27th of September, and it's late night crafting. Tonight, we're going to work on the creepy junk journal. This will be part three of the creepy junk journal, so we're going to work on that, but we got lots of other things to share and to chat about. So I'm going to grab, um, I'm going to try to grab the feed on my iPad here. So I can see the comments once we get started with the project, with the craft, because I want to be able to see the comments and I want you to be able to see the table. Um, so let me grab that feed while you guys are coming on and saying hello. Hello, hello, happy Tuesday, everybody. Tuesday night here at the Comfy Nest means late night crafting. So that's what we're up to tonight. Um, let's see now. Uh, are we going to be able to find the feed? see is it gonna work is it gonna work cross your fingers yay that wasn't bad wow that was really fast hey Denise I'm opening your happy mail tonight Denise sent me happy mail hey Rita hello hello thanks for being here oh you guys good good morning Cheryl honey it's it's evening here I don't know where you are Cheryl but it is not morning um here in the united states it is evening anywhere in the united states <laughs> in central time zone it's 9 p.m here hey gia hey kathy hey patty hello hello there are all the crafty chicks there just floating right in here oh my gosh you guys i'm a little bit i was watching the news today about this florida storm and i've been my sister lives down there my mother-in-law has a place down there one of my my business coaches down there in tampa so good gravy. I've been listening and knowing that this is coming, but now I'm watching the news and I'm a little nervous and I live up here in North Dakota. So God's blessings to everybody involved with that in one way or another. Hello, Anne. How are you? Elizabeth's here. Welcome. Welcome, Elizabeth. She's a new Knack and Lovers Club member. Welcome. Welcome. Hey, Brenda. Brenda says, I just ordered the other day and I'm so happy. Happy dance. We love happy mail, don't we? Don't we love happy mail? I have two things to give away tonight. Um, two happy mails to open. Hey, Jeannie. Hello, hello. There's Amber. Let me see. I'm just going to make sure I can see all these comments as we're going. <laughs> Joy says, welcome, newbies. Welcome. And Joy, earlier, <clears throat> I think it was in the subscriber hub, in the subscriber group, you said, you said, oh, it's been, a, it's been a day. I think that's where you said it. So I'm like, it's been a long day. I'm looking forward to late night crafting. You and me both, girlfriend. So the glue thing, did you see my story about the glue? <laughs> the glue. I send all new Napkin Lovers Club members um, a welcome gift. It's a two ounce bottle of glue, my favorite decoupage glue, and a pouncing brush in a little um, bag. So I have to separate, I buy the glue by the gallon. It's art glue. It's a hundred bucks for this gallon of glue. And I have to like, like funnel it off into all these little two ounce bottles. So, Cause it doesn't come that way. You can't get this glue in a two ounce bottle. So I was going to do that today. I had to order more and it came in and I was going to do that today. And I opened the box and I immediately, as soon as I opened the box, I was like, oh, it's really stuck to the lid of the, the plastic container. Number one. I'm like, that's glue. That's glue holding it down on the outside. And when I opened it, it was like sopping wet cardboard. Thankfully, it was a box inside of a box. And then the plastic container was on the inside. You got it. It's like a gallon of paint. It was a gallon of glue. <laughs> glue. And half of the gallon was outside of the plastic container. That's supposed to be holding the glue. Half of the gallon of glue was in the box. I was like, no, I got my gloves out. It was quite the mess. Half of it was still in the container. So I was able to use half of it. Well, not even quite half, but half of the glue was in the box. I know. I was like, what is going on here? What a mess is right, Maureen. I was like, only, this can only happen to me, right? Is, it, is this the way it goes? Priscilla, or Pat Priscilla, she says, I can't wait for my napkins. Pat, I know you're so excited. It's going to be so fun. I know, Lori, uh, Amber, that is the perfect, and Tracy, your, your emojis are perfect. Give me some more of those funny emojis with the buggy eyes and like that. <laughs> yeah, those are cute. It was a, Jimmy Thu's here. Hey, Jimmy Lou from the messy, the messy craft corner. It was a messy dining room table. 
and actually I have brand new jeans on. It's splattered on my jeans. And now I've got glue spots on my jeans. Got on my sweater, which I was like, okay, it's kind of an older sweater. I don't care. Got on the dining room table. I was like, mm, Lord, oh Lord. I was running over to get, because I was trying to open the container to try to salvage what was in there. Jimmy Lou from the Messy Craft Corner. You get it, girl. <laughs> My flowers, these are coming up in October, girls. If you like these flowers, we're going to be making these in October. So stay tuned for that. Yes, you guys say hello to Jimmy Lou. Those of you, so Jimmy Lou is a creative business owner too. So she's a creative sister. And um, we have collaborated together. She's been a guest in the Craft Therapy Club for me before. So thank you for that, Jimmy Lou. And um, Jimmy Lou or any other of my creative sisters from Craft Around the Clock or from any group that I've collaborated with, you are more than welcome to drop your business link in the comments to share so people can find you. Aren't they adorable, Don? I, I love them so much. That's a lot. Of <laughs> Brenda wants to know, is the glue insured? Can you insure glue? <laughs> can you take out an insurance policy? On a hundred dollar bucket of glue. Oh, it was so yucky, Joyce. Karen, I was able to salvage some of it. I was able to salvage some of it. And it was an Amazon pop buy. It was an Amazon purchase. So of course I get right online with Amazon and they were good by it. They because I said to them, um, it is definitely damaged, but I don't think it's safe for me to return it because it'll just start oozing out of this cardboard box. And they were like, Don't worry about it, we'll just refund you. So thankfully they refunded me. But oh, what a mess it made. It was, I had glue on the, so I trying to get the box, which you can imagine is pretty big, into a garbage bag. And then the, the container, the broken container, and I had put down paper all over my dining room table to, to open it up because I knew it was going to get, so all of the papers, my gloves, the, I trying to get it into the bag. I had glue on the outside of the bag, glue on my jeans. Yes, yes, yes. That's a way to wake a girl up in the morning. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hey, Debbie Duckett. I know, Jeanette. I just, Jeanette says, oh, no. Pat's loving the flowers. Oh, Glow loves the flowers, too. I did a little video on that, too, today. Just putting them in their little jar. But prepped that. That workshop will be ready for October. Oh, Barbara, I'm so glad you love them. They're so scrappy and cute and primitive. They really, really are. They really are. Dolores is saying, I love Jimmy Lou. Don't we all? Don't we all, friend? You can ship as, oh, your shipping part being insured. Yeah, I wouldn't count on the U.S. Postal Service or I don't even know if it came, honestly, I shouldn't even say that because I don't know if it came UPS or USPS. I'm not sure. I would have to look at the box again, but no, I, it, Amazon covered it. Thank God. <laughs> Who let the dogs out? Joy, joy, joy. She said, I was letting the dogs out. <laughs> did you make your flowers? I did make them in preparation for a workshop that's coming up in October. So watch for that here on the page. Watch for that. Watch your uh, email. If you're on the email list, watch, where is it? The texting, what? Texting, where are you? Texting service, boop, boop. But definitely I'll be emailing about that. It'll be here on the page. I need a hazmat suit, Ham. <laughs> oh gosh, has it gotten that bad? Debbie's loving the flowers too. Why, thank you, Miss Debbie. Thank you for being a subscriber. I see that little teal, that teal badge and that heart next to your name, as well as Linda Matienzo. Thanks for being a subscriber, ladies. Hey, Tamara, there's another one. And Joy, of course, Miss Joy. Okay, let's open. This one's from Denise. I've got two happy mails to open. I've got two bundles of napkins from last week's um, share challenge. So last week, I did a box opening of the Napkin Lovers Club box. And um, I had said, because I really wanted to get that that video out there so people could see it and be introduced to what we're doing over here with the napkin lovers club so i gave you guys a share challenge and there were at least 50 shares so thank you for that it is it is so unbelievably helpful when you guys do that so all of you who shared thank you and i told you if you shared i would pull a couple of names and send some people some napkins so i've got two winners to announce here tonight oh this looks like a speaking of napkins <gasps> Denise, is this the napkin lover swap? 
Are you my secret sister? Oh, they put they put all the packaging over your over your little your little you have a sticker here and it's it's 1 John 4 verse I can't see it. I got to hold on. You can try to see what I'm doing. I'm trying to scrape off they covered up your sweet sticker. Denise, are you my napkin lovers club swap secret sister swap sister? Secret sister swap sister. Say that a bunch of times fast. I promise I haven't been drinking. I promise. I had some apple cider earlier. That was, was kind of nice. We love because we love because he first loved us. That's really a cute little sticker. The Lord is my strength and my shield. Oh, I love your stickers on the back. I, I get excited about all the things. Joyce says, my swap sister should have hers tomorrow. If you don't know, Joy, it's so exciting. I've had more fun watching in the Napkin Lovers Club group. It's a private group here on Facebook for those people who are members. It's a quarterly box. I'm sending out boxes for this quarter on Saturday, so it's not too late to sign up if you want to sign up. We do swaps inside the group. And it has been so fun to see the happy mail posts inside the group where you ladies are saying, oh, I got my napkin bundle and spreading out what you've gotten so everybody can see what you got. And I leave it up to the members. It, they are secretly assigned another person if they sign up. It's not required. But if you want to do a, a napkin swap, you sign up. And the system secretly assigns you a sister and sends you an email with her name and address. And you send her something. And then some other sister is going to get assigned to you and she'll send you something. So it's, it's just everybody swapping napkins, which is so fun. And then the girls take photos of their happy mail and they share it in the group. And I leave it up to the ladies whether they want to reveal themselves to their secret sister. So thank you for all your help with journaling. Hope you can use these napkins, Denise. I still don't know if this is part of the swap or not. I don't know, but look at how cute. Celebrate. Look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh, that would make the cutest little tag. You sent me some napkins on a whole bunch of them. Oh, we've got the pretty um, like wood grain with the with the roses or flowers. I don't know if those are roses. Oh, we've got some palms. Oh, and some sunflowers. These are perfect for this time of year. And look at the background on those. Denise, you spoil me. We've got a nice yellow, which actually goes really well. Matchy, matchy for our base or for anything that you want to fill in space if you're journaling with that napkin. Oh, that one's pretty. Those geraniums. Does somebody know? These look vintage, actually. These kind of look vintage. And they, it's not it's not four of the same panel. I love napkins like this. I'm a napkin. I'm a napkin lover. That's why the group is called Napkin Lovers Club. It's not four panels. It's one big panel. This would make a great, like, oh, you guys didn't see it. So Unique, Pat from Unique was our guest in the Craft Therapy Club this week. And she did a panel. She decoupaged a panel with a napkin, a square panel. And this, I was going to say, this would be great for one of those square panels. Or, of course, for an art, you know, art uh, journal page, napkin journal page. Love that one, Denise. Oh, and equally pretty. I don't have a lot of red. So these are fabulous. Ooh, you got these. Look at how pretty. If you see one that you, it's a geranium. Or I'm not good with plants. I'm not good with, I, I don't garden. I don't, I spend too much time in my craft room to be, to know what the plants are. So thank you for the help. And look at these beauties. Now this one is not the same all the way around either, I can tell. You've got two panels, so you've got two, instead of four identical panels, you get one and two horizontal panels on that one. I love that. That has a really pretty background too. Oh, Happy Mail. We love ourselves some Happy Mail. Show me some hearts if you love the Happy Mail. Denise, thank you, thank you. They are gorgeous, right, Anne? You got them at thrift stores and the package was really old. I, some of them, they this one absolutely, absolutely seems to be vintage. Thank you for sharing, Denise. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You know that song? And I was the Pointer Sisters. And I just can't hide it. I know they are beautiful, Donna. I agree. Hey, do I still have... I thought I smelled glue gun. I was going to say, it's not glue. It's my glue gun's on the floor because I hardly ever use it. I used it for the, for the um, flowers though. 
to get those ready. Um, I was thinking, did I, has it been on since yesterday? <laughs> they are gorgeous. Oh, Tita, never apologize. You guys never have to apologize for being late. We're just happy to have your company either way. I need to post my napkin bundle from the swap, Anne says. I was so excited and totally forgot. Please post, Anne, we love to see. Don't you love to see in the group what everybody else is getting and what they're doing with their napkins? I love the member posts. They get me so excited. Joey says the sunflowers are gorgeous. Ooh, I want some, Pat says. Text BFF, thank you for sharing, Miss Christy. Elizabeth says, lovely assortment of napkins. I'm kind of going back. Oh, you don't have to apologize, Christy. And Donna says, I love, she's loving the swap because she's getting some seriously cool napkins. Yay. Maureen says, it's so fun to swap. Maureen, you're the next one. I'm, I'm opening, I'm opening happy mail from Maureen. Handle with care, it says, and she wrote right on it. Happy mail. I love sending happy mail, but I equally love getting happy mail. Woo, let's see what we got. Wait. That's the first time I realized it's actually, it's, 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 it's noisy. It sounds like a noise. It sounds like a party maker. I'm trying to get the scissors to open the envelope here. Hold on, girls. Let's see what Maureen, let's see what Maureen, what goodies Maureen had in store. Wait, Maureen. It's like the box inside the box for the, um, for the glue it's a bag inside a bag we're gonna do this again girls now this one's open well it appears to be open i want to make sure i'm not gonna get rid of anything important it's a bag inside a bag it's doubly walled which sounds oh i know it's making noise oh cute look at the little birdie look at the little owl you guys these are darling i think there's a crown I saw the crown. Oh, a mushroom and a leaf. What a fun assortment of little embellishments. Ooh, Maureen, you're treating me to goodies. Oh, I see the sound of music. What is this? Hold on. What is this? Hold on, hold on. Oh, you guys, darn it. I forgot my water. I need my water. Whoa. <gasps> Whoa! I I don't even know what to say about this, Maureen. <gasps> the sheet music for piano. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell Gannon to learn these. Listen, Maureen, do you know this? That this this is was probably my mother's favorite movie. She died when I was, the, the day after I turned 17, my mom died. So I was really young. Like now I think back and I'm thinking, I was young at the time I was like, you know, really, you don't think about it, like how young you are when your mom dies. But she died when I was really young. But this was her favorite movie, I think. And we watched it every single year. It would be on TV once a year and we would all sit down and watch it together. So I have a huge, huge crush on this movie and the music, and this is piano music, which maybe Gannon could try to learn it for me. Oh, this is, this is something else. I am so, so happy about this. Hey, Luann, I'm opening Happy Mail. Karen, I love that movie too. Yeah, thank you for saying that. Thank you for saying that. Yeah, I love that movie so much. It really just, it just, you know, it just has a special place in my heart, for sure, for sure. And whenever I watch it, it reminds me of my mom, of course. So, yes, it's very special. Ah, I don't know where you found this, Maureen, or how, I don't know if you knew that attachment that I had. Um, how sweet and perfect, right? Right? Debbie says, fun. Dolores so special. Denise, extraordinary mail, not just happy mail, extraordinary mail. Hi, Ganny. Ganny, look what I got in the mail. Maureen sent to me. I just said, I'm going to have to give it to Gannon. It's piano music for the sound of music. <laughs> He's just laughing at me. Ooh, you want to start reading it now? 
I, looks pretty easy. Looks pretty easy, he says. You think you can do that? Yeah. Yeah, baby, concert tomorrow at the Kurtz house. I'm so excited. Maureen sent this to me. Isn't she the best? I have to give Gannon a good night hug. Hold on. Gannon, will you do me a huge, enormous favor? I forgot my water. It's on the end of the table. I'll be back in the dining room. I forgot it, and I kind of need it. Thank you. Oh, I'm so excited. And he says he thinks he can play it. Like, he's looking at it and can tell from there. I don't know. Look at the napkins, you, grow, you girls. Look at these. Wait, how do we hold this one up? Oh, they're all hanging. How pretty. I have never seen that napkin that beautiful. This one either. I love unique napkins. I love when I get a napkin that you've, like, it's like, I have never seen that. Thank you a million times over, my love. I appreciate you. Good night. Say some prayers. Look at the birdies. What special mail, right? Gannon used to play. He used to let me record him playing piano, but he's kind of gotten out of that a little bit. He's 15 now. But maybe I could sneak the recording. <laughs> or maybe maybe he'll just let me. I mean, he, he knows how special that movie is to me, so maybe he'll just let me. Look at how gorgeous these are, you guys. Wow. So, oh, there's a card in here. I should read the card. I'm so excited about the napkins and the sound and music. I can't help it, Maureen. I know that's probably rude. I'm like going through the, the oh gosh, that's pretty. That, that would be a beautiful background too. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm ahead of myself. You're supposed to, oh, and there's more napkins. I'm supposed to open the card first. Let's get to the card. To me. To me. Oh my gosh, there's 96 of you here. Oh, Maureen, I am so thrilled. I'm so thrilled. Oh, you did write me a little note. I love it. Oh, you're so sweet. Okay, you I, you wrote me a good size note, my friend. And I, I, I don't want to rush through it. I want to savor every word. So I'm going to read this later, okay? Just because, you know, me standing here reading isn't very exciting for our, the other 98 people who are here. But I will definitely read this later. And you can tell how absolutely thrilled I am so far with what you've sent me. Look at three more napkins. Check that guy out. Guy or gal, I don't know. I love this. Maureen, you have some seriously unique napkins. Look at these woodland friends. Look at the little squirrel. Or is that chipmunk? Chipmunk, excuse me. All right, there's a couple of those. So that's a shareable. Oh, and a very pretty watercolor tree scene. Oh my goodness, my goodness. Chock full of goodies. Chock full. Okay, and there's more in this package. Ooh, very pretty. My store doesn't have this. These just look like they're... They're from Crafter Square, which is Dollar Tree. My store doesn't have these. Look at how pretty. Big assortment. And they're sparkly, you guys. Look. Run to your Dollar Tree. Look at that. Ooh. That's so many goodies. I, it really is a lot. And I cannot wait to read this card, which I will read on my own just because so many people. So, Maureen, I hope that's okay. Okay. Let me put these beauties aside. I have two. Two people who I'm going to announce, two people won um, a full can, a full uh, bundle of napkins. These are the napkins that are for box five. That's the current box that we're in, the one we're just finishing up this quarter in the Napkin Lovers Club. I have all the napkins bundled up and packaged out. Um, almost all of the boxes completely packaged and ready to go out on Saturday for box six, the new quarter, which is October, November, December. So two people, I told you last week on Tuesday, I did a share challenge and I said, you know, if you guys, if we get enough shares, I'll definitely get out one set, but if we get enough shares, I'll do two sets. So I've got two bundles of napkins. You want to know who won? I randomly chose two people who shared. Let me check comments quick. I know, Pat. I know. She says, such beautiful napkins. Oh, Barbara got some of those stickers this past weekend. That's awesome. You're ready for fall fall card making maybe or journaling you could put them on gift bags that would make a really cute gift bag if you had those brown craft bags the watercolor trees aren't they pretty linda i gotta go back and just make sure i didn't miss any major comments here 
Oh, Sue, never apologize, my love, for being late. You are so welcome here anytime you make it. All right, let's 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 check out what we got. Oh, winners. Who are the share challenge winners? You want to see the names? I pulled two names earlier. Sandy Jarman and Stacy Neal Eakin. Stacy and Sandy, you both won a full set of napkins. And actually, I have a few of these still left. They are available in my shop at uh, thecomfynestwithgrace.com. You can buy this full set. So if you're a member of the Napkin Lovers Club and you want another set, you I still have a few left. Or if you're brand new to the Napkin Lovers Club and you want to be able to do the projects that we did this box, like you're in there now, you can watch all the workshops or in video recordings are in the guides for you. These are the napkins that we use and you can get most of the supplies in the shop too. Like we did the zipper canvas pouches and we did the, um, the heart frame and we did the little craft, um, craft tag, junk journals. Um, so all of those things you can get in the shop, including the bundle of napkins. So I'm sending to Sandy and to Stacy, they are the share challenge winners. So congratulations, ladies. I will also post this inside the craft, the Crafty Chicks Club. That's my free craft community. There's about 5,000 of you in that group. It's really active, lots of sharing going on in there. Um, and it's where I kind of update news and happenings and announce winners. So I'll announce these winners in there. Hopefully if these ladies aren't here tonight, they will get word that they won. I can tag them in the group if they're a member of that group. Okay, let's get to our journal. I know, you guys are so sweet. Congratulations, congratulations. Okay, oh no, I wanted to show you the books I got. You want to see some of the books I got? Thrift store shopping lately. When Gannon and I, or Landon and I went to Grand Forks last weekend. It's homecoming this weekend. And Landon needed a shirt that fit. And we tried to do the shop online and have them sent home. And he tried them on and it just wasn't working. So I said, okay, we're going to have to just drive the 90 miles to Grand Forks and hit a few stores and see if we can get him a dress shirt. So that's what we did. While we were there, we went right by <laughs> the Salvation Army thrift store. And I said, please, can I go in? Please, can I go in and look at the books? And actually... I'm telling you that whole story. Those books are still in my car. But we hit the other, there's another thrift store and I got these books and I wanted to show you. You want to see Maureen? Oh, I'm so excited about my books. I'm so excited. And I, I have a new offering for you guys that'll be available. I haven't, <laughs> there's a new offering coming out for junk journal lovers. Who out there loves to junk journal? I Thank you, Anne. She says, you always get, you always get awesome books. Who loves to junk journal? Show me a heart on the screen and tell me in the comments, like, all right, you want to do it, but you haven't started, just started, I'm working on my first one, or I've done dozens, like, tell me in general your junk journal experience, and if you don't have any, we love to know that too, because a lot of people who are here hanging out with us, a lot of you say, I've never done a junk journal, but I think I want to try after watching watching me do it. So tell me in the comments. I'm going to go. My books are right there. I have to go grab them. So I'll be at a screenshot. So I'm, I'm looking at comments. Yay, Lori Anderson. She's working on her first one. So Junk Journal Lovers. Oh gosh, this, these books are heavy, you guys. Oh boy. Okay. Well, the books are heavy and I am weak. <laughs> it's a bad combination. Heavy books, a weak chick. Um, the junk journal lovers. Let me see in the comments who, who's doing it, who's loving it. The book, this this creepy, this creepy junk journal that we started. So this will be session three. I'm going to do this next when we work on this tonight. This is made out of an envelope. So I will call this a quasi junk journal if that's such a thing. It's like half junk journal. It's like the stepsister, stepbrother to a junk journal because I used a I, I used envelope to make the outside of it. Um, but the inside of it, I used some mixed media paper that I had purchased. So that's not truly junk. The true definition of a junk journal would be using only things um, that you have laying around that you would have thrown out otherwise. 
Okay. So that's a quasi junk journal. Do you love junk journaling? Oh, Wendy's working on her first one. I love it. I love to hear that. Wait a minute. Where did you all go? I clicked on Elizabeth's name and it brought me to your profile. <laughs> I wanted to see comments and I, I and instead Elizabeth said, I love that cover. I clicked on your name by accident, Elizabeth. It brought me right to your profile. You like the cover. Isn't it cute? They're creepy and I love them. Why? But they're, they're just kids, right? So how creepy can they be? <laughs> um, art journal. So art journals would be different, really. The definition of an art journal is different than the definition of a junk journal, but your junk journal could be an art journal. How's that? You can call it whatever the heck you want. I don't care what you call it. I'm not like a um, word snob when it comes to that. Like, And actually, I think if you got... A, a, a group of people together, men, women, doesn't matter. If you've got a group of people together who do paper crafting and journaling, it would be a really interesting conversation to listen to. Like, what do you call a junk journal? What do you constitutes a junk journal versus an art journal? Like glue books, that's totally different. Um, Mary loves to junk journal. She's made about a dozen. Oh, Mary, that's lovely. Jeannie, you admire them. She says, I don't know what to do with them when they're done. You put them on a shelf, and when you want to admire the work that you've done and you just want to sit and enjoy them, you can sit and open them up. And if they're interactive, you'll have all the little flips and folds and tucks to play with and admire. You can gift them to people. I think they make a wonderful gift. And then you can put specific mementos inside for the person that you're gifting them to. I think that's really a lovely gift to make. They're very addictive. Someone said, who said this? Lori Fitzgibbons. It's junk journaling. Very addictive. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> oh, I love that comment. I've created several junk journals, Denise Parker says. I would be making one for each of my grandsons for a just Disney trip. Yay. Um, the cover's really cute. Very addictive. I want to make sure. I'm obsessed with looking for books now. Lori. Lori Anderson. I got to read this whole comment. I'm obsessed, she says, with looking for books and napkins because of watching you the past few weeks. Grace, my husband and I went on a quick getaway this weekend, and he and I went to the thrift stores and five used bookstores. <gasps> that sounds like a good. First of all, your husband's a gem. He's a gem. Just tell him I said so. And second of all, yay! <laughs> I want to go with you on that trip. <laughs> oh, she says she doesn't like the name because it seems like something degrading. I think of it as like, I actually think of it as elevated. Right? Like you're taking junk and you're making it this incredible treasure. It is a junk journal. Like you're taking, when you open it, it's, it's, to me, it's elevating it. Like, like you're making it special. So the, the name itself, when you've done it long enough, you realize what a treasure it is and how much effort we put into it, how many hours go into making them. And that to me is just a treasure. Donna says I'm the same way being obsessed looking for one for things. Oh, the ones I keep and use, I leave notes in it throughout for my kids and grandkids to read bits of wisdom and hope, joy. That is the best gift ever. Oh, Amber says, this is the best part, the looking for the books and the things to put in your journals. She said, it's the best part. I have a garage full of books, nicely organized. Wow, I hope I hope you get to use many, many of them. Um... My husband is such a gem. Oh, Lori, it sounds like it. Totally. Jermaine, why is your... Why? I want to... Jermaine, I didn't do it, but your, your comment was hidden. And so is Tita's. Facebook is doing something weird. I can... You guys, look. I just have the... Oh, wait. What are you doing, Gracie? Hold on. I have this open. Okay, so that I can, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, so that I can see the comments right here. And Jermaine's comment, it's hidden. Like, Facebook hid it. Like, and it says that I can unhide it. I'm hiding it. All she said was, I'm new to junk journaling, but I love them. I do not look at anything in my home the same anymore, even things that go in the trash. 
I always have a use to it. You have taught me well. Oh, Jermaine, that makes me happy. Why did they hide your comment? And Tita, I saw one of yours. The, the comments that get hidden, I, as the administrator, I can still see them, but they're like grayed out, so you can't click on them. Or, well, I can, but you guys can't see them. But then Joy said, I think of it as art, junk to art in a book is just amazing. I, Joy, I look at it just like you do. I love it. Tita, <laughs> why did they hide this? This is so bizarre. It's like Big Brother is watching. I hate it. Okay, it's a, Tita said, it's like the ugly duckling turns into a beautiful swan. I don't know why that got hidden, but it did. I just unhid it. Hi, Teresa. It's like giving something old new life. I love doing it. It's like the trash to treasure thing. Like those series that we see in Craft Around the Clock or on some people's um, creative social media pages where they do trash to treasure. They turn something that would have gone in the trash and they make it something beautiful. I love it too. It's like a Cinderella story. I don't know. Hey, Melissa. That's weird, Luann. <laughs> Tita says Facebook is doing some strange things these days. Oh, Glow said, my husband is always asking, do I throw this away or do you need it? He's a gem. Oh, I love that guy. <laughs> Glow, he is a gem. All right, look what I found. Look what I found. You can even see my prices. I got these locally. Um, Book of Worship, but look at you guys. It's the big text. We got big text. And I was thinking, there are just some, like, like if you could take out just parts of this for like a greeting card or in a journal, art journal, junk journal, um, tags. Like I just think that you could pull full pages out and put them in journal, of course, but it is full of lots of goodies. It's lots and it's so many, many, many pages. So this is unique because of the big print, large print book of worship. Love it. I'm excited about that. This one, um, Bears Hiccups. <laughs> okay, why did I grab this one? A couple of things. I'm going to put you guys down so you can see my pile here. Let me see if I can get you down on the pile. Actually, I'm going to get the camera pointed down, and then I'm going to lift you up so you can see more of my stuff here. Because then we're going to work on the on the creepy junk journal. Okay, Bears Hiccups. First of all, it's a hardcover book, fabulous. It's in like absolutely pristine condition. So the book cover probably will become a journal in itself. Um, and then the insides, it just has some really beautiful illustrations. This one was signed by somebody, to somebody, from somebody in 1998. But look at the, the illustrations in here. They're just fabulous. Like, I think we can use this many, many times over. Like, look, look at that. So anyway, children's book that's in, like, absolutely pristine condition. The first book was cool, Jeannie. I kind of thought you might like that one. The bear book is adorable. It's really cute, isn't it? I lost my mouse. So I can't, I want to, oh, Gia says, I'm jealous. <laughs> Denise is looking for a Bible at thrift stores. Oh, they're a good place to look for them. They really are. You haven't found the right one yet. Yeah, I mean, they, they, that's a good place to go for them. Okay, look at this. Green, look at that beauty. It's called, what is it called? <laughs> Green tint pages, line tracker shading, heavyweight bond paper. It, they're called analysis sheets. I uh, love that. Okay, and never ever pass up typewriter paper or resume paper because it's like already that crunchy goodness that we look for. It'll run right through my printer so I can run off vintage um, creative printables like the, some of the ones that I have on my website. Like, <gasps> I didn't even notice this. What? What? When I... You guys, when I bought it at the store, I opened it. I'm like, yeah, it's printer paper. I closed it up. I bought it for a dollar. What? No, a dollar fifty. 
What was that? How much of these? Oh. What? You guys. It might just be a couple pages worth. Maybe somebody like tried to pull out their stuff and then donated it. Let's, I, I just have to do a quick flip, flip through. I hope you don't mind. Did you see that? Score. <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm missing. I feel like I'm missing comments. Yes, Catherine. I like what you said there. Oh, I'm, I'm the gold, right? Kimberly, let's just do a quick. That might be the only two pages. I'll show them to you. It looks like poems. I, I, and I feel a little bad actually because I got this at a local thrift store. Oh my gosh. Love, hate, why, love moods. Memories of Junior and my love's gone. Are you kidding me with this? I cannot, I, this was unexpected. You can tell. I mean, my, my surprise and shock is genuine. If you are local, seriously, if you are a local person, I got this at our local thrift store. There's only one. So you know which one that is. So if you know who this belonged to, if it belonged to you, do not be afraid to message me and say, please, can I get those pages back? Because I, they're not on a disc somewhere, I, you know, unless you scammed them. If you want these original pages back, like seriously, that just was too precious to me. But yes, listen, listen to that crinkle. <laughs> Joy, old resume paper. I always get it when I see it at the, at the thrift stores because it's crinkly. Um, you can take like um, Tracy Campbell has um, a, like a coffee grunge recipe <laughs> that she uses vanilla and cinnamon so it smells lovely but I made some of hers and I'll use that to dye some pages um, look at I even put her recipe I even put her recipe tag on my bottle this is Tracy Campbell's DIY coffee grunge mix so you can find her recipe and I put it right on the jar so that if I need to make more, I can. You can find her at My Sweet Home Living here on Facebook. And then go to her files. I think she has it there. Okay, check this one out. Class record book. And the sheets in here, the pages in here are all a little bit different. But the one that I was like super excited was this set of pages. You know, this is how it was when I was in school and the teacher would show you your grades and she'd hide everybody else's and say, there you are. <laughs> you got a 74, a 62, <laughs> an 80, a 62. <laughs> that was my grade sheet. <laughs> I, I was an earnest student. I just, I struggled. I had to work really hard in, in school. Okay, look. Look, 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 just, this is just full of different kinds of papers in this. This is her lesson plans for the week, or his, I suppose, I don't know. Seating plan. So, I love that book. Atlas of the Civil War, are you kidding me with this? Wait till, so, the book itself is in perfect condition, totally pristine. Got it for two bucks. Wait till you see some of the stuff in here. These will make great pages for making journals. And, or, like, we could pull some of these graphics out and use them, the maps and the graphics, we could use them for projects. Like, I love photos like that, portraits like that. It's not a photo, it's a portrait, isn't it? That, that one might be a photo. Anyway, Civil War Atlas. Loving it. I didn't expect to spend this much time on this. I don't know what this is. Oh, the beauty of dogs. <laughs> Do you want to see the beauty of dogs? <laughs> there are just some really cool graphics in here too. Like, again, the pages could be used. Oh, look at that one. 
the pages could be used like pulled out and used in a journal but then also we could be pulling out just particular graphics and using them however you want like oh my gosh that one was really cute the little guy book of dogs oh we got a winnie the pooh same thing gorgeous condition hardcover and then we have these fantastic graphics in there um, big maze book i did think this book was very interesting and it could make some very interesting backgrounds like look at that that's an interesting page right there it's a kid's book some of the pages are written in that doesn't bother me at all <gasps> the story of painting i don't like books like this i actually will have a lot of trouble pulling anything out of because i just love the book itself um you, whenever they have these covers they're generally in great condition but you guys like I don't even know that I can I might not this might just stay in my collection because I love art I love art history actually I've never I've, I studied it for one semester in college um but I I'm fascinated by it maybe at some point in my life I'll be able to do more with that oh I'm, I don't want to get in trouble on Facebook for showing something like that I better be careful with this book. <laughs> we don't need any more nudes getting me in trouble. Okay, and then look at this is old, you guys. This is old. There are a few illustrations in here, but not many. This is another one. I don't know that I'll be able to pull this one apart. I don't think I will be able to. I don't know. How do you feel about that, girls? Like when I find a book that just seems really, really unique. Some of the, some of the, you can see some of these are in black and white and some of them are in color. Um, it's the story of the Wizard of Oz. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be able to pull this apart. I think this will just probably be one of those books I keep in my collection just to have it. Um, the Wizard of Oz was one of those stories too that we watch every year together as a family. I'm going to look at the copyright on this one because just because I'm curious. The original copyright was in 1899. This book doesn't feel like it's from 1899. The introduction has the date of 1900. And the last copyright, so it was copyright 1899, 1903, and 1944, which seems more realistic, the 1944 date for this book. But it's gorgeous, and it smells like a library book. Like, it just has that, you know that book smell? Anyway, this was a major haul from my local store. I have, it's not many, like maybe four or five books from the store um, out of town too, that when Gannon and I went. I have that too. I just, um, I forgot them. They're in the car. I left them in the car. We're going to work on the creepy journal. Um, let's see. I got I to gotta see your comments about tearing the book apart when it's such a special book. Debbie says, my son would love that Civil War book. I got a cookbook that Andy Warhol illustrated in his early career. It, it, this is the thing, right? Like, Kimberly, like, how, I don't know, do you pull that apart or don't you? I have trouble with that a little bit. What I would do, um, this is me. So if I wanted to use a page from the Wizard of Oz book, I would put the page in my color printer. And I would copy it then I don't have to bother the book at all. I could copy it on the resume paper and I don't have to bother the book at all when it comes to a unique book like that. That's that's what I do. Oh, Vicki, that's a good idea about the poems. Yes, Amber, she said old history books are great for journals. I know. I just, I do have a little bit of a, a, a like a, uh, it's hard for me to pull apart really what looks like a really high quality valuable book oh Bronwyn says I, I don't love it that everything's online she's talking about the grade book I just prefer a handwritten grade in an attendance book yeah we uh and say my my thrift store Salvation Army store doesn't have awesome books like that every store is different and every time you go in it's different when and I'll say too I was actually leaving the, our local store. I'm going to bend down so you can see me. I was leaving our local store, and I used to volunteer there. And I, at the time that I volunteered there, I know how many books we had in the back. Like, we had the books on the shelves. 
and we wait for people to clear the shelves a little bit so that we can take out more boxes of books and put them up on the shelves. So I was like, oh, I took all these books which left little holes in the shelves. So hopefully someone there who's working there will stuff those holes with something new and it makes it like, oh, I can't wait to go back. <laughs> you get so excited because you never know what you're gonna find. So keep checking in, you just never know. Pat says, I can't wait to see what you do with these books and papers. No, I can't. Kimberly says, please do not mess up the painting book. That painting book, I love art history. I do too. You heard me just explain that. I have a real affinity for art history. I just love, love, love it. That's exactly it, Tita. Yes, make copies of the books and use the copies in the journals. That's exactly, yeah, Tita, that's what I do. Yeah, Elizabeth says, I love books so much I can't destroy them. I don't mind destroying books that I know like are a dime a dozen. I don't mind that. It's the unique ones that I have trouble with. Love the Wizard of Oz. I know. Exactly. Kimberly says, I should share with you the book I made for my parents' 50th anniversary. <gasps> Please share it. Kimberly, share it in the Crafty Chicks Club. Lori says, I'm an avid book collector, and it is so hard. I'm lucky because we have a used bookstore that has a huge rolling bins full of free books that I can pull apart. Good ones go on my bookshelves. That's a good distinction to make, Lori. That's kind of, I, I wish we had free books. We don't. I, I purchase all of my books. Um, but I, I that's such a fantastic idea. You, you make a, a distinction between the ones that are like a dime a dozen there everywhere or the things that are severely damaged and the ones that are unique. <laughs> Tamara says, I agree. I'll get somebody else's book to tear apart, but not my own. <laughs> oh, oh, Kimberly, I can only imagine. She said, I lived near Fort Leavenworth a few years back and I would visit their Salvation Army and they had Mary. The Crafty Chicks Club is my free group here on Facebook. So you just go to the group and request to join. Um, I do ask you to answer a few questions because I want to make sure that we don't get creepers in there. You know, I don't want creepy people <laughs> in there, but let me grab you. Let me see if I can get the link for you quick. Um, hold on. Hold on. I will try to get it for you quick. Here it is. Crafty Chicks Club. All right. I'm going to put the, the, um, the link to it, Mary, right in the comments for you. I'm working on a girlfriend. There it is. There you go. I'm going to pin it so you can join the Crafty Chicks Club if you want to. That's my free group. And share, share away. So this is the, the spooky, no, creepy. We're calling it the creepy junk journal. Um, these images I shared with subscribers. The subscribers are those there. Um, thankfully, I thank, thank you. I'm so grateful for all of you paying $1.99 a month and they get behind the scenes stuff from me and we do special challenges every once in a while and we have this creepy challenge going on now. So I gave them a bunch of graphics in the subscriber hub. So it's here on the page. There's a tab just for them that says subscriber hub. If you're not a subscriber, when you click on it, it will ask you if you want to join. If you are a subscriber, when you click on it, you get the videos and the content and the challenges, everything that I've posted just for them, the behind the scenes stuff. So I gave them some of these images and said the challenge is they have to do any project they want, just one project, any project they want, with any one of these creepy images that I gave them. And then they share their creepy challenge project photo in the Crafty Chicks Club, the free group. And then at the end, I'm gonna give one or two $25 Amazon gift cards away, depending on how much volume, how much activity we get in there. So anyway, um, these images that you see in here, the printed ones, are ones that, that have gone to them. These, this is Chocotour stuff. I did Chocotour here and I did Chocotour back here. Just for fun, some shimmery shimmer paste. <laughs> Cause it's a creepy book, but that doesn't mean it has to be like totally morbid. It can be, it can be fun creepy, right? So anyway, I'm gonna work in this book a little bit tonight. And I had some ideas. Oh, I have, <laughs> I didn't even show you yet. I have this page, which is Chocotour here. 
And then I punched a hole in the house. One of you made the suggestion that I make a peekaboo for her <laughs> with the window of the house. I thought that was a great idea. So I, ha I, I want to do something here and I'm just not sure yet. But where was the page? I thought I stuck something in one of these pages. I was going to put this here. I think that this is a good... Was this where I wanted to put it? I already thought through all this and now I've, I've messed myself up. This is definitely going here. And I'm just going to rip it. I think it's kind of creepy in its own right. And I, every page for me personally, every page doesn't need to be super done up. Like I'm okay with some of my pages just being a glue, like glued down image that you found or a glued down photo or something like that. So that's what we're going to do with this. And I really want, I don't know why, but I really want that one. These are the good ones. These five right here, because they're all facing up. So I'm going to try to rip this. Because my printout, I printed it out bigger than the pages are. So I'm going to try to rip it so that I can get, oh, I'm going to have to rip. You're going to have to go this one right here. I, I, you girls, I don't measure. I should, but I don't. Like, I could do this, Grace. I have, whoops, five and a half inches. It's going to be here, so this is going to go. But I don't, I don't, I'm not super precise, as you can see. I'm super precise, uh, actually, takes all the fun out of it for me. Yeah, there's that creepy face right there I could use on something. That strip of creepy faces, I won't throw that out. So we'll do this and I don't I don't get worked up over preciseness because it just brings all the joy out of me. it just makes it not fun for me anymore so I just don't do it like if that if perfectionism takes the fun out of it for you then just stop being like that just stop you can make a choice to just stop it stop it with yourself I call myself a recovering perfectionist and ever since I let go of my notion that these things have to be perfect, I've just enjoyed the process so much more. Like, who am I kidding? I'm not winning in any awards here. No one's going to give me a million dollars if I'm, like, exactly precise here. That would, that would be a good incentive for me. But that's not happening. So just, <laughs> just make your projects and don't, don't stress over stuff like that. Just have fun with it. That is a creepy page. And the page didn't even print out well off my printer. Look at I have a couple like white spots on it, but to me that makes it even more creepy. We're just gonna glue this down here. Um, let me check comments. A quick sprinkle in the love. Thank you, Joyce. You're welcome, Mary. You are welcome. Amber says, I can't believe I wasn't a member of the Crafty Chicks Club. Oh my gosh, there's like 5,000 people in that group, which astounds me. It's I've had that group for, it's been probably three years, you guys. That group has been open. It's a public group. It's free. And it's just, it's just the Crafty Chicks community. You know, you guys can't share your project photos on the business page. That's not how a business page works. That's just for the business to share our content and our you know, happenings and news and, and invitations to join our memberships or join our activities, challenges that we got going on. And then in the group, you guys can share. So you can share and your when you share something in the group, the way I have it set up is it needs to get approved by me. I'm the only one who does it. It's just me. I'm like the, the pretty much <laughs> the only person I have Leanne helping me in my paid membership group. She's my community manager. Um, she just came on uh, helping me in the last couple of months in the paid membership groups. But in the free group, it's just me monitoring everything. So when you submit something, it has to wait for me to see it and then I'll approve it. Because I don't approve, like, I don't want you going in there and trying to sell Tupperware or candles or like, it's not for that stuff. It's a craft group. So I make sure that the stuff that gets in there is craft related and it's positive positive. We, we will only put up with positive. I don't want any creeps in there. That's why I approve. I personally, when you request to join, I look at who you are and say, yes, Amber can get in there. 
she's a crafty chick. I know who she is. But if it's someone I don't know and I think it's creepy or I like get a funny feeling about it <laughs> and they don't answer the questions, I won't let them in. All right, that is done enough for me. That is very cool. Um, I don't know yet what I'm going to do here. But I was playing with this. I don't know yet. I don't know yet what I'm going to do back here. I want to put cellophane over this and then maybe just cover that page. Like when I say cellophane, this is just a bag. It's just a bag. I had ordered my rice papers from Decoplash Queen and it came in this bag. So I would love to put like a little window. How cute would that be? Just to make it a little more fancy. So I think, I don't have to cut it way up there. I think if I do this, I can make myself a little window. And then the back of this is what, I'm not sure how I'm gonna cover that. But we could do the window. We can get that part done. I just need a square big enough to cover the oval hole from this side. And then I'll cover all of this. So I'm just gonna put it like that. It's, I know it's really hard to see because it's, it's clear, but I'm gonna put that there and I'll just glue it down. And then we'll cover this page with something. I'm just not, I just haven't decided what yet. So I think what I could use, I think I tested this glue. And it honestly, it doesn't even matter on this because it's gonna get covered. But when you're working with something clear or with vellum, test the glues that you have before you put it in your project because some glues do not dry clear. So then you're gonna be stuck with seeing white glue. This one, if I remember right, this one dries clear. I think I tested it. So I can you know, smear it all over this and even if it looks white now, it will dry clear and I don't have to worry about that. Um, and honestly, like I said, for this one, it doesn't even matter because I'm going to end up covering, I'm going to put some kind of cover on this side. Now I lost my little, there's my little square. Here it is. We're just going to put this down. Uh oh, it's squishing over to the other side, my glue. I put it too close to the edge. I'm going to squish it down though because I want it to really spread. Okay, so now I'll have a little cellophane. <laughs> That'll be cute. I knew I wanted to do that on here, but what I can't decide is what to do with the rest of this. I may just use decorative paper. If you guys have any ideas, please shout them out in the comments. But see, we can cover this up. We can collage it. We could decorative paper. We could paint. Perfectly imperfect is how I roll. Amber, you and me, sister. You and me. I can't wait to get my bones and house transfer. It's so cute, Tamara. It's so darling. Um, Pat, no, you did not miss it. That's coming up in the Napkin Lovers Club next quarter. The ruler. I'm going to do it with them in, the, in that group. <laughs> Lori, you guys are so cute. Sprinkle in the love. Thank you, Katana. I appreciate you. Hello, Anne from Northern Ireland. Thanks for being here. It's 3.30 in the morning, my friend. <laughs> God bless you. I, I hope it doesn't mean that you're just like, you're unable to sleep. That can be so exhausting. That can be so exhausting. So I hope, dear, that you're not, I have not been sleeping well, you guys. This menopause stuff is not for wussies. It is not for wussies, I'll tell you what. Okay, that is adorable. Now we have that little, you know, it's like a, like a little window. And I have to figure out how to cover this up. Um, I was also thinking, that needs to dry. And when you're not sure, I don't want any of that glue to ooze out onto her. So I'm going to put a craft mat in between. So that if anything, I'm going to close this. And I don't want any of that glue to stick to her. So put wax paper or parchment paper or something in between. But here, I was thinking, I'm going to glue these down here. Um, 
and then I may collage something. I don't want them, or do I? I want, I think I decided I want a little bit of this peeking out underneath here just to soften the look of the witch. I'm gonna have a little bit of the lace peeking out there. And then I think I'm going to hide the rest of this and I'm going to just glue that down there. And then I don't know, I think we might put some, like collage a little image on top of that. I try, I do want things to be coordinated, but I, I fly by the seat of my pants. So I do whatever I feel like, like just whatever I feel like in this moment is what's going to happen here. But I say that like in a good way, like I'm not trying to be flippant or anything. I'm trying to just express that for me, the joy of making these books is the creative part of it. And just like, it's therapeutic to me. Like it's total therapy. Like I love creating. I love being creative. I love putting something together with my hands. And then when it's done, being happy with the outcome, but just, just because I made it. Oh, look what I made. That's so cool. Or it's cute or it's quirky or maybe it's really ugly, but I don't care because I made it and it was so fun to put together. That's, that's what I like to focus on. The fun. It was fun to put it together. Not that it's perfect. Not that it's like symmetrical. Not that the colors are on trend. None of that matters to me. What matters is just that I'm enjoying like using my supplies and then I'm happy with the outcome in the end. Danger of using a glue gun on la or a glue stick on lace, which you just saw me, you can do it. It's permanent. It's going to dry clear. So we won't be able to see it. But now this glue is wet. So I can't close this because then this will stick to that. The glue will go right through the lace. So let's just figure out now, like, remember this photo? <laughs> Maybe she needs to go on here. She would fit right there. If I did that, she's going to stick out a little bit, though. Her elbow will stick out. Makes me. I remember my dad always used to, he was like, oh, he was so um, crazed about get your elbows off the table. He was always that person. Get your elbows off the table. Get your elbows off the table. You were not allowed to eat and have your elbows on the table. So she has her elbows sticking out. And the other thing was I had two brothers who were lefties. No, Gracie, a brother and a sister who were lefties. And so they always had to hit sit at a particular place at the table. I think I'm gonna do this and my, I'm okay with, you know, I'm covering up a lot of this, but not all of it. Look at it, it's already drying. I can't even move it. I was gonna move it up just a tish. We can, we can do it. I'm gonna move it up a tish so I can see a little bit more of it. I'm okay with it being covered up. I think she kind of belongs with the lace. So let's do it. I'm gonna put some on top because now I'm gonna put that paper on top of here. This is not a lot of pressure, people. Like we do not have to overthink this stuff. You got a whim, like I think this is gonna look here good here, then put it here. Don't like, don't overthink yourself. Ooh. I guess that glue stick's done. Don't overthink yourself out of creating. I think sometimes what I hear from some of you is that I don't know where to start. I don't, like I, the blank page is staring at me and I don't know what to do with it. I would say don't overthink it. Like just start gluing stuff down, painting stuff, putting stickers on. It's You do whatever, you could do whatever your little heart desires. You can cut out comic strips and put it in there. There's nobody that's the boss of you in these books. That's the beauty of it. That's the absolute freedom of doing this is you get to decide and no one's going to judge you. Mm -mm. No one's going to, you're not going to go to jail for making a poor color choice. <laughs> it doesn't matter as long as you're happy with it, friend. That's what I want for you. I want you to be happy with your project. That's all. I know Cheryl, it's hard. It is hard. I'm a lefty and I have to sit at a certain place on the table. Lori, that's how my family was too. Hey, Christy Absden, there's my sweet friend. Um, Jeannie, I looked all over the web <laughs> for these images. And these are the images that I shared with the um, subscribers who are doing the creepy challenge with me. 
And Glow says, this is total therapy for me. It is for me too. And that's why I say, I want you to just super like, just dive in and don't worry about it. My lace, I'm pushing really hard. I put a lot of glue on top of this lace and I'm pushing pretty hard on it. And the lace texture is coming through my printer paper. I'm gonna hold it up. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but it's pretty darn cool. That lace texture is coming through there. I think I'm gonna muck up the edges of this with my Stabilo pencil. Like, I'm gonna make it a little more grunged up. Let's glue that down a little better right there. And then I'm gonna grunge up the edges with my Stabilo. Let me find it. Oh, I might have put it aside. Oh, it's getting down there. <laughs> this was a big pencil at one time. It's getting down there in size. I use my Stabilo on the lace to get it to be darkened up. And I use the Stabilo around this page to darken up the edges of that, just to grunge it up a little. So you can see that darkness right there. That's my Stabilo. And so I think I'm gonna do the same thing here. And I'm not, we don't overthink. <laughs> I'm gonna put you down and show you this. You're gonna see how messy this is gonna be. And it's the whole point of me showing you this is to give you the freedom to like, just do it. Don't. You don't have to take out a ruler. You don't have to be super precise. You can have, you know, some can be darker than others. Your hand can slip. Nobody's gonna arrest you. We're gonna darken this up. I'm applying a lot of pressure actually. Haven't decided yet if I'm also gonna wet it. When you wet these pencils, they activate. It's a charcoal pencil. And so it'll get you more, more darkness, more color more grunge so now it looks old and dingy i would like a little bit of that to be on her too but how do i achieve that let me get a, a paintbrush um, i'm gonna get a paintbrush and i'm gonna wet the tips of it and i'm gonna touch on the charcoal which will activate it and then I'll get some charcoal on my brush and then I'm gonna just scrape it through to make the page, oh, maybe I should use this and scrape the color down so it looks uglier. <laughs> We're shooting for ugly in the creepy book. <laughs> yes, hi Shauna from Scraps and Scraps. She says, I love letting the project take you on its own journey. Yeah, I'll let the supplies talk to you or don't let them. Don't tell them to shut up. <laughs> How about that? Say, shut up, shut up, creepy image. I'm gonna tell you what to do. <laughs> you can exert your own will over your project. It is your project and you get to decide. That's the beauty of it. That is the beauty. I'm gonna dip this thing into water. You can't see my water over here. It's a really nasty water bath for my brushes, but it's gonna activate this and it's gonna scrape it. Can you see what it's doing? When I wet this, it's gonna pull some of that color down. I think my water, I think I used it up already. So dip it back in water, the edges, and I'll try to hold it up close so you can see. I'm trying to muck up this printed out picture even more. Oh, there's a drop of water. So see what it's doing? I'm just taking that color and I'm gonna scrape it through and I don't, I don't care if it goes in different directions. So you could use a paintbrush for this too, but I wanted it to look like scratchy, like a document that had been messed with or a picture that has been like in someone's basement sitting in a bucket, like in a, in a wet cardboard box for years and someone finally found it. So I, I can even smell the mold on it. <laughs> It's a creepy book girl, so we're going for creepy. We're creeping out this lady with no head. See how much more authentic that looks and creepy? This, this black Stabilo pencil is really powerful. Um, I don't know if it'll work on this because this is kind of shiny, but it's really powerful. Like I can put a lot of pencil there and then when you wet it, watch that mark closely. Do you see what happens? It activates the charcoal 
and then you can move it around and do whatever the heck you want with it. They're really fun to play with. This is going to go in the garbage though, because I don't want that. I just wanted to show you on a piece of like white plain envelope there, what these pencils are capable of. I'm going to put a little bit of the water on my finger and I'm just going to grunge up the edges a little more and spread that out a little more instead of using the, br oh, see what it does? Instead of using the brush, I'm going to just, I'm just putting a tiny bit of this water on my finger and then pulling that color in. So stinking simple. Because I have the lace underneath here, this is puckering up with the water. It's getting all bubbled up right here because of the water and the lace underneath it is giving it nooks and crannies for that water to just kind of bubble up the paper and I think that's pretty cool. That's creepy. It's a creepy journal, girls. That's what we're going for here. I'm checking comments. Hey, Nicole, I see you. <laughs> Shauna says, I need to make a creepy book too. The creepy books are fun. I did one last year too. Christy says, my husband and I are both lefties. <laughs> Donna. Donna, you posted your book. You posted your, your creepy. I love it. I love your book. And she said, my, my husband brought me a water into my room and he said, what is, what in the world are you working on? <laughs> and did you say, never you mind? Never you mind. <laughs> Good night, Anne. Oh, thanks, Cheryl. Cheryl Rojas, thanks for saying that. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you, Linda. Katana says, awesome. That's a cool page. It was really simple, you guys. I glued down two pieces of scrap lace to have them hanging out the edge. And then I picked a photo to glue on top. Just glued it on top of lace. And all I did was use a glue stick. I used my favorite glue stick. I tried a lot of glue sticks. It's the only one that I like. Um, it's in my Amazon store. Anyway, I used the glue stick for the lace. I used the glue stick for the paper. My edges are still creeping up. I'm going to put a little more glue on those. I usually like them to creep up, but because it's right here in this fold, I don't want it to fold on me. So I am going to glue these down. Um, so after we glued it down, I took the Stabilo All and I put a generous amount of Stabilo All pencil all the way around. Then I took the card, I wet it, and I scraped into the center of the photo just to grunge it up. And then I just took my finger and I spread that Stabilo All even more. So the Stabilo All pencil, unlike the Inktense pencils, that is going to remain active. So whenever this page gets wet with anything, or if this page ever gets wet with anything, it will activate that charcoal and the charcoal will spread. So the reason I bring that up is you just need to know that, like see, the glue activated the charcoal and it came off on my thumb. If you do something on, on this side that is wet or damp and then it touches the charcoal, it's gonna activate the charcoal. So if you want this charcoal to not move on you, if you want it to stay permanent, use some kind of spray I'm trying to I'm trying to back you guys up a little bit more. I'm going to have to do this. I know it's a little disorienting, but I couldn't get my camera to reset. Um just spray it with some Mod Podge. Like matte Mod Podge, just give it a good spray and then that will make that just stay permanent if you give it a good coating of some kind of top coat. I have my little the little bit of glue stick that I have left. I'm trying to get these edges down. I don't want them up. I want them down. I usually like them up. But on this page, I'm going to try to get them down right, right on that black paper. Um, it looks crackled. Joy, doesn't it? I actually thought about on this page doing some texture medium. But it, the lace, the little scraps of lace, you guys, it worked out really well. The little scraps of lace just added a bit of texture. Oh, I didn't even show you. Hang on. Did I leave it in the laundry room? Hold on, girls. It might be right here. Yeah, it's right here. This is another thing that I picked up at the thrift store. Speaking of lace. 
So when you're in the thrift stores, check the curtain section, the curtain tablecloth section. I got this for two bucks. Um, I don't want it to get the black Stabilo on it. I got it for two bucks and it's a lace valance. I don't know what you call it lace. Like, see how pretty it is? There was just one of them. It was $2. It's not very big. It's polyester. <laughs> I was going to see if it had a, like a name on it, like where it came from. It doesn't have a brand name on it, but it's a curtain. And what I thought I would do is use it as a book cover because look at how beautiful that is. Won't that make a gorgeous book cover? So I'm going to cover a book with this and then I'll have scraps of it to use inside my books. So little scraps of lace, don't ever pass those by when you find little scraps of lace. You don't have to buy expensive ream, like a like a, a reel of lace, like a bobbin or you don't have to buy lots of it. You can buy, you can buy just any bits of lace to use in your books if you're just using small parts of it. Um, Susan's loving this. Thank you, Susan. Hi, friend. Um, this book is made out of an envelope. This is a Cha Couture envelope. <laughs> a cha, it's, the Club Couture is the uh, monthly subscription for, for Cha Couture. And every month we get a transfer and, and club members get three packs of paste to do designs like this. Um, so the, the outside of the book is actually an envelope and I put cardboard in. Um, Shauna, if you go back to part one of this, this is the third session that I'm working on this book. But if you go to part one, if you go to my live videos and then find part one, creepy journal, creepy junk journal, you'll see me start it and how I got it started. But it is an envelope. And then the inside is mixed media paper that I had and some colored stock paper, um, um, some card stock paper, colored cardstock paper that I chose. Just, I felt like it matched the grungy look of this book. Um, look at, see, see how it's stuck a little bit to my mat. And there's my glue. It dried clear. Remember it was white. Now it's clear. So test out your glues. If this is going to get covered with something, but if you're, if you're gluing down vellums or like, this is just an envelope. It's a plastic envelope that I ordered my decoupage papers for the shop and they come in these plastic bags. So I saved that because that's a lot of great little plastic that I can make these little windows out of. And when you glue it down, you want the glue, it's still a little white right there, but you want it to glue invisible if this is gonna be exposed. So make sure that you test your glue beforehand um, so that you make sure that that doesn't... I have a little stickiness right here and actually, I have a tiny little bit of stickiness glue that is outside of that piece of plastic. I'm just gonna put this here. It's it's low tack. It's gonna stay there long enough, but it ju I just wanna protect this page. So when I close this, that way I don't have to have this in there. It's dry glue, but it's still tacky. I'm just gonna put that there until I decide. I'm gonna put something on here. I just, I just don't know what yet. All right, so we got our cover done. We have this page done. Uh, this is just a glued, <laughs> this was from Graphics Fairy actually, this one. Um, I have a bunch of resources for images, free, royalty-free images. This is another one that I got online. These all are. Shared these with the subscribers, like I said. Here's my swan girl, my glamorous swan girl. You guys, the shuffles thing. Can we just talk about it? I used this this glamorous swan girl as my first shuffles pin, I guess is what you would call it. This glamorous girl. Are you guys on shuffles? Can we talk about this for a minute? Pinterest has a new app called Shuffles. I, you guys, when I am sitting in the car, I'm shuffling. <laughs> Sounds funny cooking dinner, waiting for my toast to come out of the toaster. I'm, shuff I'm in the shuffles app. It is so much fun. You guys, I'm telling you, right? It's, it's new enough that it's not open. Like you can't just, it's, it's, you can apply to be in it, but they're not taking everybody just yet. But it only took me like two days to get in it. So you just wait 
you put yourself on the waiting list and you wait until they let you in. I don't know why developers of apps do this. I have no idea why. I imagine they're trying to make sure that all the kinks are worked out before they let floods and floods of people in, but it's the number one downloaded app for the last two weeks. Two weeks, I think. Pinterest shuffles. And it's all, you just collage. You collage things together to make a pin, an image that you pin and you share with others. Um, and I used her on my first shuffles. So if you're on shuffles, find me. Um, I don't have any invitations left. When you get in, they give you two invitations to give to two friends. Mine are gone. I, I don't even really know personally the people I gave them to. They were just people who asked. I was like, yeah, you can take mine. I didn't have an invitation. I just applied, downloaded the app, put my name and email address in. And then two days later, when I opened the app to check, I was in. So it's really easy, but it's so fun, you guys. Who's on it? Gia says, I'm amazed at the details you think of. Anne says, looking really good. It makes a great difference using the water on that black pencil. Yeah, the Stabilo pencils. And they come in other colors. I just use the black one most often. This book is amazing. Denise, thank you. I have some Tim Holtz Distress Crayons and watercolor pencils coming soon. I can hardly wait to play with them. Linda, it's so fun to get new product, isn't it? Yeah, Wendy, you can put your pages together. If When it's dry, it's not going to move on you, the charcoal. She asked, is it safe once it's dry to put your pages together? Yes, it's safe. It will. Well, I have bad examples because I already have it on my fingers. But if I use the palm of my hand, like it doesn't, it's still a little wet. It doesn't really come off. But like I said, if you're really worried about it, like if you have a pristine white page on this side and you just want to make sure, um, just spray top, top coat it. Put some spray top coat on it. Mod Podge, whatever whatever brand you like. It doesn't matter. Um, I do creepy really well. Phyllis, I was thinking about this the other day. I did the creepy book last year and Michelle Maidlow, I, I auctioned it. How, who did I? I think I auctioned it in the Crafty Chicks Club. I'm not sure. But that book took me like eight weeks to do. I, I think we did eight live sessions doing that book. And it was awesome. I loved that book. You guys all loved it. So I thought, oh, well, I'll let one of you guys have it. And I auctioned it off. I think Michelle is the one who got that one last year. This one I think I'm keeping for myself because I actually really love them. I don't know why I love old, creepy, vintage photos, but I do. You're loving the creepiness of this page. Oh, you guys are so cute. I love that you guys are chatting with each other. Um, oh my gosh, Brats and Scratchy are so busy. <laughs> Lots of chatting going on with you and Christy. I love it. They're both saying, I miss you. Oh, I miss you too. So cute. It is an awesome way to repurpose things. Brenda's going to put a pumpkin on the, on the front of hers. Uh, oh, Missy, the shuffles. It's addicting, isn't it? Oh my, Brenda says shuffles. Oh my, it's called Pinterest shuffles. And I posted, a, if you if you scroll down here on the Comfy Nest page, if you scroll down, I did post a couple of, of the shuffles that I made, the collages that I made, just so you guys could see them. And I asked you guys, like, who else is on here? Come find me. It's so much fun. You can't figure it out, Judy? H how can we help you? Like, if you just met around the, on the bottom there's just a there's like three buttons on the bottom and that's where you go to grab images or grab words or whatever you want to put on the screen and then you just layer images and words to make collages it's like making tags it's just like making the tags you guys and I actually found these the other day I love making tags and this is like it's about the same size right so you're just taking images and you're layering them on to make a really pretty collage of things what does this one say nothing screws up your friday like realizing it's only tuesday <laughs> she's ready to go to, she's ready to go to happy hour <laughs> okay so it's like it's like the same exact premise as doing this except it's digital it's so much fun judy i think if you if you spend some time just spend some minutes when you're like if you know you're driving somewhere and somebody else is driving and you're in the car and you're not really talking you can get in there and just monkey around with it and i think you'll get it eventually melissa says always shuff, shuff, shuffling hustling 
<laughs> you don't get it yet? Melissa, keep at it. It is so much fun. It's so much fun. It's shuffles by, it's Pinterest, shuffles by Pinterest or Pinterest shuffles or, yeah, that's the one. And actually last night I loaded it onto my iPad because I thought maybe it would be easier because I, I do struggle a little bit. It's like the old lady thing. I do struggle a little bit with a little screen and I feel like my fingers can't get in there to make like little things small. And the one on her, on the swan lady, I, I covered her eye, one of her eyes with another eye. I thought that was kind of funny and cool. Um, but I had to make the eye really small. So I was having trouble with my fingers doing it on my, on my phone. So I thought, well, my iPhone, I should be able to load it on my iPad, get the app on my iPad. I tried. I cannot get the app on my desktop. I wish I could because I do almost everything on my computer. I would much rather be on my computer than on an app. You're welcome, Pat. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. You Such kind words. They really lift me up. You remember that book, Phyllis? Oh, Maureen, wasn't it a fantastic book? Michelle has it. She sent me, I'm pretty sure it's Michelle, because she sent me a message after she got it last year, uh, a photo of it on her on her entryway buffet. Like she has a, like a well, entryway table. I shouldn't call it a buffet. I think it's like a table. I think that's where she had put it. So she showed it to me um, displayed, which was very nice to see. I did surprise myself with that book. I had never done a book like that before, Judy. In last year's book, I was like, this is so much fun. Why is creepy so much fun? And you know what? There's something about vintage. It, to, to me, the vintage makes it less creepy, like the vintage photos for some reason. Why? I did print this out. The, I haven't even seen this movie yet. I've got to, I've got to watch it. The Hocus Pocus Girls. Um, when I decided to put the Chaka Tour stuff in here, it's not necessarily creepy. It's kind of like whimsical, fun, creepy. I like this kind of creepy. It's, it's you know, it's not truly creepy. When I decided to put that in there, I, I was thinking they would go great in there too because it doesn't all have to be like super somber. Same thing with the cats in the back. I've got my little shimmery cats. This is another Chaka Tour transfer. And I put them in the back just, just for fun. Just for fun. Um, so, yeah, the, I, for some reason, I'm going to keep this. This isn't going to go anywhere because I'll, maybe I'll use that. These, they're just bizarre. They're bizarre, and I, I get such a kick out of them. This one, okay, this one is a little disturbing. <laughs> some of the girls, when I, sh I don't know, I don't think I showed this one to you guys. I, 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 when I shared all the photos with the subscribers, all these images. A few of you were like, what on earth is going on here? Um, this, <laughs> this is mannequins. These are all wax mannequins. That's what they call them, wax mannequins that, or maybe they're just mannequins, that got damaged in a fire in 1909, I believe. They were damaged in a fire at a museum and someone just kind of propped them all up. It's so creepy. I'm not gonna show you this last one really closely because he's, he doesn't have any, he's a mannequin, but he doesn't have any clothes on, so it looks, I don't wanna get in trouble for anything specific there. Anyway, why are these creepy photos, vintage photos, I just find them so appealing. And I love playing with them in a book. This is a really fun, super relaxed way to create. There's no pressure here. Just glue some things down. You can overlay some things and not feel a ton of pressure. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep that paper in there because I don't want those to stick together. You're on that wait list, Amber. When you get in there, please find me. It is so much fun. Donna, the videos for last year's book would still be here on the page and on my YouTube channel. I loaded them all on my new YouTube channel. So you could find the videos and watch them if you wanted to to see that book. Even if you just watched the last one, you could see the whole book finalized. Deborah worked on hers and added more. You know, I this is the third time I'm working on this book. And I do, personally, I like to be able to have a project just sitting there that it brings me joy. Sometimes I'll say, mm, do I want to work on my creepy journal? No, I want to work on something else. And that's totally fine. Like I have my chalk journal. I've been working on this during our open um, chalk, chalk and chat nights. 
I do a Zoom call once a month where we get together on Zoom and we chalk and we chat. And I've been working on this book in there. This one's not creepy. This is just, I've been putting, like altering this notebook and putting pages in here and chalking in it. This one is probably my favorite. Well, I love this page, but I really love this one that I put um, this swatch of fabric on. I don't know why. I just love that. Anyway, sometimes I'll say, I want to work in this book, but sometimes I want to work on this book. It's nice to have a couple going because whatever you're in the mood for, face it, it's our therapy. It's our relaxed time. So it's nice to have a couple of different projects, right? To work on. Anne says, enjoyed the putting together of your book. I might take up doing a journal to do with my six granddaughters. It's so fun, Anne, and they can totally do this. Get them a little notebook at the Dollar Tree and let them just glue things down. That's how they can start. They can glue, they can use their markers and color or draw, or they can put maps in there and draw all over the map. I mean, they're just, it's, your options are endless. Oh, Glow, I'm so glad you you love watching. Wendy's working on her first book. It's a book of about 100 pages. Would you tear pages out or glue them together? If you glue them, what glue do you use? Oh, Wendy, all really big, good questions. We cover all this stuff in the Craft Therapy Club and in the Napkin Lovers Club, but mostly in the Craft Therapy Club. Um, and that's that's a few questions there. I do both. It depends on the book and how it's made, whether I tear out pages or glue them together, but I sometimes do a little bit of both. So if it has 100 pages, you probably need to be pulling out some pages and you probably will want to depending on how old the book is you may want to glue some pages together to give them some substance before you create on them <laughs> christy says you must watch focus post focus as soon as possible best halloween movie ever i haven't seen it yet i'm gonna maybe i can get my kids to watch it with me maureen isn't that one disturbing you guys are like oh my gosh <laughs> oh that's funny. That is so funny. I'll have to watch it. The Hocus Pocus. I don't think it's nearly as creepy. Somebody told me it's really funny. But you guys are creeped out by that mannequin <laughs> picture. <laughs> hey, Babs. Welcome. No, you don't have to apologize at all. She's been wor She said she's really enjoying working on her creepy book. Can you imagine how much we're all loving this? So the creepy challenge for subscribers so these are the folks who are paying a buck 99 a month and they get exclusive content behind the scenes and some of these challenges and right now we're doing the creepy challenge so they take any of these graphics that i gave them and they can create anything they want they only have to create one thing but a lot of you are making books which i love but you just have to share one photo of any page that you did or project that you did you could put it on a canvas if you wanted to you could put it on a tote bag if you wanted to you could you could do whatever you want with it anyway share it in the crafty chicks club with the hashtag creepy challenge you guys who are in that group are probably seeing some of these um project photos coming in with that hashtag that's what it is this is the challenge so anybody who enters the challenge by doing that i'm entering you in uh, for a chance to win a 25 dollar amazon gift card and if more of you do it, I'll give away more than one gift card. It just depends on how many of you, just like the napkins. More people will participate, I'll give away more. Look for the video, yes, Donna. Oh, Joyce, stop it. Stop. <laughs> Joyce, she says, I have a hard time overlaying things because I feel like I'm wasting supplies. Oh my gosh, so the the... There's such joy in layering though. The layering gives like a scrumptious texture and it gives it like depth and it gives it thickness and nooks and crannies and we want all of that. It's never a waste. It's never a waste. It's never, never a waste. Oh, layer away, Judy, please. I hope I can, I hope I can encourage you just a little bit to let go of that because the other option is your supply is going to be sitting in a box. Your supply is going to be sitting in a box or in the bag from the store. And that is doing nobody any good. Like you don't get to then open the book and go, oh my gosh, like I feel that texture. And oh, I remember putting that together and I got that little lace peeking out there. You don't get to really enjoy it because it's, it's just sitting in a bag or in a box somewhere. Put them in books. Put them on canvases. 
you know, this, this canvas that I did, this is the, one of the printables on the website. This is one of the printables that I made, the, the cat with this little scene here. But I also used um, rice paper that I had on hand and some paints. And I also used some stickles, right? So we, and then I, I used that, this stuff that you get at the Dollar Tree, that webbing that you can get at the Dollar Tree. So it's layer upon layer upon layer of stuff that, oh, and then I did. I used my Stabilo pencil to darken the edges. I mean, there's a, a dozen things being used here, all layered on top of each other to make like this really cool cat scene, right? Like the cat sitting under the moon. I love this scene. And it says, <laughs> and then I put Chocotour on the top. It says, thanks for dropping in. This is a perfect example of layering upon layering. And this is on like a little palette board. I sell these in the shop. You can get the board in the shop. You can get the decoupage paper on the shop. You can get the um, printable is a dollar in my shop. Go to the creative printables tab. I have a few there. I'm kind of like dipping my toes in that. Um, you can get this from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> yeah, so layer upon layer. It doesn't have to be in a book. It can be on a board that you can hang on the wall or prop up on your mantle. It can be on a canvas, but just use your stuff, Judy. Don't save it, my love. It's not, it's not doing you, you bought it to use it. So use it, please use it. <laughs> Denise, <laughs> she says, I just downloaded the shuffles. I'm fixing to get a new, a new addiction. <laughs> I love that comment so much. <laughs> I love that comment so much. Cindy says, I have two books going and I love how relaxing it is. Isn't it fun? It's fun to just kind of go back and forth between the two, especially if they have a theme. My art journals don't normally have themes, like every page is different and you never know what you're going to come across in one of my art journals. But junk journals, I tend to do a theme, like the creepy, it's all creepy, right? So that whole journal, that whole book would be themed. But most of my art journals, like you, every page is totally different and there's no theme. And that can be a joy too, because then there's no pressure. You don't have to do creepy. You can do whatever you want in those books. I love all the texture too, Nancy. I'm a huge fan. Yes, Jeannie. I did that. The printable I was a live that I did. So look, um, look here on the page, go to the live tab and look through and read the comments and you should be able to, to find, find that live. If you need help, just let me know. Okay. So I'll do one more quick flip through and then I'm going to hang it up because just cause it's getting late. <laughs> just cause it's getting late. All right, let's do one more. Here's our cover. I did use washi tape down the edge to reinforce it. I did sew in the pages. So the pages are sewn in the binding. Um, this is Chalk Couture. Just, and my windows and the, the purple is glittery. So the, the top of my words I did with glitter and then the bottom I just did with regular black. And I really love the combination of the glitter. And then I got my little skeletons there. Here, we just have a, a printable. These I share with the subscribers, but you can get this one. I know that this one came from Graphic Fa Graphics Fairy. Uh, this is another printable that I gave the subscribers with some lace. Here, simple printable, chalk couture. This page, I don't know what I'm gonna do there yet. Painted, I just painted that one, and then we stuck her on cardstock, watercolor paper actually, and then put her down with Stabilo around her. I don't think there's anything else in here done until we get to the end. So lots of, lots of pages to still fill. So stay tuned here on the page. I will start numbering these like last year's, last year's book took me, I think eight sessions to do. I think it was eight sessions. So I'll start numbering these one, two, three, <laughs> part one, part two, part three. That way, if you're trying to follow along with the book and you miss a live or you want to go back and watch, you can catch the replay. I forgot I had this guy here. Um, this was from our craft therapy club. I have an extra skeleton on fabric, so I'm gonna I'm gonna work him in here somewhere too. I'm gonna stick him in here so I don't forget. All right, thanks for being here, you guys. Thanks for sharing this. If um, if you shared it, whether you're on the replay or you are here live, thank you for hitting that share button. It helps so much. All of my subscribers, thank you. All the members of the groups, thank you, thank you. 
I appreciate you all so much. Congratulations to our two winners of the bundles of napkins. And um, just a reminder that the Napkin Lovers Club, you can still join now. I have a couple of spots left. Um, the boxes are going out on Saturday. So I had two people cancel today. P people who are in the group now are not coming back. And so, so that get, makes room for two more people to come into the group. So if you want to join, go to thecomfynestwithgrace.com and click on the Napkin Lovers Club tab. Or even if you're curious, you can read all about it. You can see some of the past projects. And if you want to enroll, you can enroll right from there. Okay, you guys. Um, two spots opened up today, but I had a couple of spots. I just want to say, because I don't want to discourage anybody from joining. I had two spots open today, two more, but I had some spots open already. So just join. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to close the doors officially probably until next week because I like to get the returning members through the credit card process. All of their auto charges will happen on October 1st, and then I'll know who's really coming back. And then I'll know if I have room for more people because I only have, I don't have so many boxes. So I want to make sure I can get them to as many of you as possible. All right. Thanks for joining me. You guys have a beautiful blessed night. Go make something pretty that brings your heart joy. Blessings to everybody in Florida. I will be praying tonight that, um, that it just is easy. So everybody say a little prayer. If you are that of that nature, say a little prayer that everybody is safe. <laughs> you guys take care.